So hey guys, day five of my 30 day challenge was all about business banks. And a lot of questions, I think it's one of our top questions we get when people go through the 30 day challenge. What's a business bank? What does that mean? I'm in a small area, I don't have a business bank. Let me explain to you my experience with business banks and what they mean to me, and then maybe how I can relate them to you maybe in a small town or you in a town that you, you don't understand what a business bank is. Um, for me, I had my lender who told me, go put $100 or $1,000 in this bank and just let it sit there. You're gonna build a relationship. And I said, why? A bank's a bank. And I was with you guys. What is it? It's a bank. Come on. And when I went there, it was a really nice bank, but it was a commercial bank. And they were all about building relationships, right? And so when I say go find a commercial bank, if you have a bank that you can go to and you can have a relationship, I don't mean like, oh, hey, Bill, and it's a teller and it's a different teller every day. I mean, it's someone you can sit down, you go and talk to. They don't have crazy lines. People there are the first and the 15th getting paid trying to cash or check. It's a true business bank. That is what I'm talking about. So you can also Google commercial banks, right? Commercial banks, small business banks. I'd, I'd Google that in your area. I'd actually look and go into it. If you say, well, I really don't want to leave Wells Fargo or Bank of America or, or, or Golden One, whatever that, that commercial type of bank is, guess what? Go in there and say, hey, I'm a small business. I'm looking to build rapport with somebody. I'm looking to put a belly to belly, face to face that I can come to, um, that I can have a business account with. What offerings do you have for small businesses like myself? And so if you don't have one in your, in your, your area, a, a true business commercial bank, it's okay to go to the, the big international banks like the Bank of America, the Wells Fargo's, but make sure you're building the relationship. I, I don't want you guys to get so stuck on, I need the bank Tyler went to. Hey Tyler. Give me the name of your bank. My bank's a small bank. It's not in all the areas, so that'd be pointless. The, the point of this is I'm trying to get you to go build rapport with somebody and not just a teller behind a glass, right? With maybe the business division of it, right? Every bank has a business division. You can go to Bank America and say, if I'm a business, who would I talk to about businesses, about putting money into a business account, opening up a business account? What does that look like? Business credit cards, business lines of credits. Who do I talk to about that? It's not just a teller, they actually have a division. And so if you cannot find a true business bank, I would tell you to go find the division within a national international bank um, and make it happen. There's no excuse. And I, I wanna do this follow-up video because I, I think it's so important. I'm telling you right now, I still have that same banking relationship it, it's, it's done a lot for me on the banking side, let alone the relationship side, let alone the connections it's made for me. And it's powerful and it's gonna work for you specifically as a realtor. Good luck.